Hello, hope you're doing fabulous. We are back with another to buy or not to buy. In these videos, I normally talk about makeup that has recently released, but I've started a trend where I try to convince you not to buy so much makeup, because speaking for myself, I have way more makeup than I need. If you've watched any of my declutter videos, you know what I'm talking about. Also, as I'm talking about that, we are going to see me do my I look with this palette from Crash Cosmetics. If that sounds good to you, press that like button and let's get started. Such a beautiful, colorful palette that I recently purchased here in Spain. I'm in Malaga. If you've missed my past videos, that's where I am. I'm here for a month and I'm going to be trying some Spanish makeup for you all and telling you what my thoughts are. But so much is released. We can't wait. We can't wait. I need to convince you not to buy all of these. So let's get started. First of all, that semi-annual sale from our beloved Sephora is coming. I'm actually wondering if they have that semi-annual sale in Spain. There's a Sephora walking distance from me, actually very, very close to me, just in the center. That's where I am. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I should walk in there and see if they have the sale. But of course, I'm not Rouge. I'm not even VIB. What do you have to do to be a VIB? I think you have to spend $100 or something. Yeah, I barely spent money at Sephora last year. I only bought something end of the year just to make sure I'm not losing all the points I've accumulated over the years. So I'm probably that bare minimum, whatever status it is that they have. So I have to wait a while for that sale to be applicable to me. But why do I care? We're not buying anything. We are not buying. Also, I'm on a no buy that is slightly modified obviously because i already mentioned to you all i bought this palette a few days ago we also have these i've talked about them here and there these are single what looks like to be multichrome singles from sinful echoes if you all remember sinful echoes had a palette that they released a few months ago i want to say that i talked about that's the only thing from them that i kind of remember talking about ever other than some of these singles and now they have sort of shown the whole collection these are beautiful but i have these i have these i mean i can even tell you all some that lunar eclipse one which is totally capturing my heart reminds me of zigzag from glam shop it looks almost identical i have a glam shop video of swatches go take a look the other one that was also capturing my heart, Lotus, really reminds me of Epigram from Glam Shop and Beauties. This is not to say if you don't need something, go shop for it. You should only buy things you need. Now that color, Euphoria, looks beautiful. But I feel like I have this too. This kind of reminds me of, not Diadem, what's the other one? Regal from Leona. Yeah, I... I feel like I have these. I feel like I have these and I'm spending too much time talking about them. So let's move on. But in the unlikely event, you're buying these because you should not be. They're $15. Moving on. This is another thing that I saw. Spring singles from Bella Beauté Bar. I mean, I'm talking about it because singles are, are kind of where my channel is headed. I love singles. And I foresee myself buying more singles than palettes and generally I prioritize palettes that are magnetic So allow the pants to be removed to be used in palette of singles custom made palettes stuff like that because I love doing dupe of palettes and that is also a Route my channel is going towards you can look at my history and you'll see a lot of palettes I've tried to dupe in the past being super objective. These are pretty It's just a bunch of holochromes that nobody needs Nobody needs holochromes. Nobody needs holochromes. We've already done holochromes. But if beauties, if you absolutely have to buy these things, don't forget to use people's code. I have no code with these brands because I'm a tiny channel, but get some money off. Don't buy these things at full price. Ideally, wait for a sale. All of these things are gonna go on a sale at some point. Let's get started because otherwise we're gonna be here forever. As you all know, if you've seen my video tag below where I mention what I brought to Spain with me, Painterly is the only eyeshadow base that I have. Now, maybe I'll buy something here to test for you all, but for now, let's use Painterly. 
And I'm gonna get started with my favorite brush EO2. I've been dying to use this orange color because it looks so, so, so pretty. And I also have been dying to put this orange color here. Look at the pigmentation beauties. I love it. And I know a lot of you might be thinking, girl, this palette's mostly neutral. Why are you doing this? So they had a couple of other palettes when I went to the store and I'm going to put the other palettes that I saw on the screen. The purple palette, and I don't remember the names, looked very similar to Norvina. And although I don't have Norvina, the reason I did not buy the Norvina palette is because I have just way too many dupes of Norvina. So I was like, girl, this is yet another dupe of that palette. And also even the similar palettes that I have to that one. So the dupe palettes that I have, I don't really use them as much. One thing that I liked about this palette is that although it does have some neutral colors, it also does have some totally not neutral colors. Like for example, I could totally see a palette making this a burgundy, but instead here, it is an actually very, very beautiful purple, which could achieve a completely different non-neutral look with these other colors. I actually just realized the names are in English, which is kind of interesting. So the orange color that I used is called Crazy in Love, and this one is Umbrella, and also the name of the palette is Prom Night, in case I did not mention that. And I'm going to go with this purple color in the outer V. And then the other palette that I saw them having was this one which is a collab with Bratz. Now, the color story is very unique and also the pants come out. I did spend a day wondering which palette should I buy because the only this was the only one they had and actually the outer packaging was completely beaten up. I was surprised that the inside looks pristine, but they had a lot of the Bratz one and I think the Bratz one is also a newer release. I don't know that color story just doesn't grab me and i don't know why because it's a very unique color story and it's also a little bit grungy and it's definitely my vibe also it has magnetic pans another thing that also kind of dissuaded me is that this one has 12 pans and the brass one only has 10 and then also the brass one has the largest pan sizes i've ever seen i would never go through those i know a lot of brands have started reducing their pan sizes nobody can hit pan on those it's literally from a brand's perspective they're wasting money with not a whole lot of benefits because people actually don't care for larger pans and even this one the pans are huge i mean the palette itself is huge look at this it's larger than my head but one thing that definitely sold this palette to me beauties is this color like if you remove this color the color story kind of changes let me talk about this one because I've actually been waiting for this reveal. Cyber Choir palette from Adept Cosmetics. And Adept, if you're watching this, why are we doing so many blues? You already did Element 115. You could have given us... I was waiting. I was seriously waiting for a teal and a magenta like one of those bright magentas like the one in here mattes why don't we have that we needed to have that because we already have yellow we already have blues and purple why are we redoing that i'm a little bit disappointed to be honest and the pile is 80 dollars and that is also kind of disappointing i feel like everybody's now raising prices to compete with i don't know ensley reigns of the world so not the happiest also this palette has four holochromes so although i keep saying who asked for holochromes maybe somebody did maybe somebody did if you're somebody who's asking for holochromes let us know because maybe i'm delusional and i live in a completely different kind of a universe i wanted this to be my color story but i can dupe this i can dupe this i'm also not super happy about only having five mats that's an issue when you're working with palettes because not that many people are going to do an all shimmer look so you're always going to use at least one matte and you are going to be limited by the matte colors in a palette when you're trying to use a palette when you have less mattes, 
the eye looks are going to blend to be more or less similar because you're going to use the same matte in every look versus when you have less shimmers that's not the issue that's my two cents now moving on let's also talk about this one nomads ireland wild atlantic way palette very appropriate for this time of the year i think it was a brilliant idea and you know what this kind of makes sense because they did hudson valley for halloween then they did verona for valentine it's so it totally makes sense to do ireland for saint patrick's day right and let's be honest i love this color story but i can dupe this color story also nomads palettes the last i checked did not have magnetic pans do they have magnetic pans now let us know if you know and although it's pretty I know I can dupe these, so I'm passing. I'd love to see a swatch video, and if you want to see dupes, let me know. Quickly, let me mention this. Dia Varone's palette, Gloomy Garden, is restocked. So we already talked about this palette. Beautiful, but a pass. I'm glad they were doing magnetic pans. And also mentioning this, because I just can't understand who would want this kind of a palette at this point in time. This palette is a conglomeration of everything I'm not here for. Like having everything for the face in one palette. And also so many similar colors. I almost feel like that whole top row could have just been two colors. And the row below that could have also just been two colors. Pretty much every row could have been reduced a little bit, at least from this photo. Also it's neutrals. So moving on, mentioning quickly that Aurora Lights and Citrus Punch are going to be available for pre-order sometime late March, early April. Now, at least this pre-order makes sense because these colors are appropriate for that time of the year. I can see the Aurora Lights palette being used during the spring, be having a lot of greens and sort of nature type of colors. And then Citrus Punch is obviously a very summer color story. The beauty is... I haven't used Citrus Punch since I reviewed it for you all. You all remember my review video? I'm actually thinking about selling some of my Simply Posh palettes because I don't reach for them. And they are magnetic. I still don't reach for them. I'm going to use this one and go into this red don't... What is it? Doncha? Oh, Doncha. Now, I know some of you all are going to tell me this is not really a red and fair sort of a burgundy-ish color and it's going under my lower lash line. I love this Sueva brush. I showed it from more close up in the other video where I showed you all what I brought and I bought it from TJ Maxx. This is a great, great brush for lower lash work. More bands should do brushes like this. I'm now going to pick again EO2 with whatever orange is left on it and I'm doing a little bit of just blending this out. Now using a little bit of NYX in this area so it's not exactly in the inner i'm gonna keep the orange here it's more like center of my lid so i have two options i can go into this orange which is such an interesting color let's swatch it for a minute and then also the other option is this green so the orange has like multiple shifts and it is translucent but the green is I don't want to use the green but the orange i feel like goes better with this eye look i'm still going to use the green i don't know i just feel like i kind of want to use something different i feel like orange would have been just a very safe look and i'm not about safe looks i'm liking the pigmentation i think this looks very nice let's also talk about this one because i kind of like these and i shouldn't be saying that because i'm probably not going to pick any of these up the one that really caught my attention is obviously the one that is most my color story, which is, well, I think it's probably the blue one, but some of you all might tell me the green one would look amazing on me, and you're probably right. And I also like the fact that it kind of looks like a blob of color. I don't know what was the thought behind that, and although I don't like palettes that are not in a standard size, I like this. But $21 for four shades um, i don't know i'm sure you can pick these up at a sale if you need them pick them up at a sale don't pick them up full price and i'm skipping but i like them let's also talk about this one which is brushes from wayne goss goss makeup artist did wayne goss sell his 
brand off and now he's doing it under a different name there's some story there that i do not remember but he is doing a brush set now available at beautylish for some ridiculous price 449 dollars 450 dollars friends like who has that kind of money to spend on brushes the number of times i've used my refer brushes that i purchased at some insane discount deal that are what like 20 dollars each or something 12 to 20 dollars each yeah i am not gonna spend money on expensive brushes because i just i just don't think they're worth it i don't think they're worth it i just don't and I have a lot of them friends. I still don't think they're worth it. Now, if you get a lot of joy out of using them or you think they're dramatically different, all powers to you. But for me, heck no, $450 on brushes. But this other thing beauties though, I know I said no to it. And I'm still on the no front, but it's difficult because i love glaminatrix and i think this palette is not going to restock from what i heard once it's out and i don't use pastels and i have these colors why do i want this palette so much i have these colors i should not i should not also glaminatrix is doing lip stuff and i'm kind of not really talking about lip stuff because did you all see my lip declutter? Yeah, that's why. But now that we mentioned lips, let's also mention these from Huda. All of these are gloss, so they're easy to say no to, at least for me. I don't really do glosses as much, although I even have an insane amount of those. I mean, there's this thing from House Labs, talc-free blush powder. I'm glad to see brands moving away from using talc in their products so that's great to see but i don't need blushes i have enough blushes i probably need to even do a blush declutter that has to come up and it's 32 dollars money that i do not have to spend on blushes beauties the earlier part of this video was when i was still in spain but unfortunately while i was still there i did not get a chance to edit that video and upload it and a whole lot of new things have come out since so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do another look with this palette while we're talking about the rest of the stuff that have launched and i'm not gonna say a whole lot we're gonna get started just one thing that i do have some hydrating drinks here with me because i'm back from a trip and i need to hydrate as much as i can also i'm so glad for fast internet upload time quickly mentioning I have already primed with this one number one from Juvia's because I did not want us to take time doing that let me jump in by talking about this collection glam like collab with kiss honestly I'm starting to not really be able to keep track of all the glam like collabs the palette's pretty but it reminds me of bejeweled from Bella Beauté bar honestly I feel like once you start seeing all of these, all the pal different palettes that more or less look the same start blending into each other. So Glamlight is a good brand. It has pretty decent prices, but I don't need anything. The only thing that really caught my attention, beauties, and again, not buying until my no buy is over, which would be the end of March, but we have some plans for no buys that another video I will upload will explain more about about my no buy extensions and all that but the only thing in this collection that really caught my attention i was like if i need any of these this would be it is the grouping of black and white bases i'm starting to test around with colorful bases and i thought that would be a kind of an interesting thing to have and use particularly that it looks like the duo is 14 dollars, so that's gonna be seven dollars each which is you know that's not a bad price for a single base most brands sell it for way more expensive but not picking up anything now let's talk about this one which i have seen a lot of people already talk about dream gaze 15 pan eyeshadow palette from alter ego for 22 dollars so alter ego the way i understand it is a duping brand so they dupe popular palettes 
They have been duping a lot of Natasha Denona, and I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm miscommunicating, but I think this is a dupe for Natasha Denona's pastel palette, and you all know what my position is on pastels. I don't need them, I'm not gonna buy them. And that is the case with this palette. Also, I can dupe it. I can dupe it probably with my eyes closed. Let's talk about this one, Notoriously Morbid. Doing something kind of grungy, and I'm here for that. Stone Cold, Notoriously Morbid gets me every time almost. Like they, they're definitely a brand I wanna try later in the year, but there has not been a single thing that I was like, this is it. Another thing is, I don't think their palettes are magnetic, because if they were, if they, it would change my perspective of the palette, but because they're not, I'm always like, would I need all of these colors? And another thing is, when you see the photo like this, it's very difficult to know exactly what the palette looks like. Oh, we do have swatches, so here they are. Pretty again, but I don't need anything right now. If you say yes to this, I'm not judging you, but don't forget to use someone's code. I know I mentioned a few to buy or not to buy ago about the fact that Clarity Cosmetics has been super productive recently. They have also announced this palette, their Euphoria palette. They are doing a lot of things in the red all the way to like burgundy, magenta, purple, blue, teal sort of a color range, which is my kind of color. But I'm not buying because, you know, beauties, when something is your color story, you probably have 200,000 of it. And this is no exception. I have 200,000 dupes for this palette. I can probably dupe this palette many, many times over with a lot of the singles and even the palettes that I have. So I'm not buying. It's Belle Cosmetics is now going into the gems business and they're doing some makeup gems. It says available now for $8. I don't know if it's the whole case that's $8 or it's each small section of this case is $8. I don't know, but I don't really do that extravagant a look most times. So not for me, but if this is something you're going to use, beauties, if you're spending $8 on something, please still make sure you buy something that you're going to use more than just once. Because I know I'm one of those people who would buy this because, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so sparkly and shiny. And then I will use it once. And it's going to sit somewhere and collect dust. Don't buy anything unless you're using it at least a few times. Okay, let me get started on the look, and I have already done a few looks with this palette, one that you just saw, and now I'm going to do something different, and I kind of want to use this orange color, because that orange color is kind of multi-chromey, it's green from some angles, and then sort of pinky from some other angles, but beauties, I'm going to do something a little different, because we're stepping out of our comfort zone this year. So I'm going to go into this shimmer for my outer V because I'm not someone who usually does shimmers in the outer V. So let's do that. And this is such a beautiful shimmer color. And we've already seen that this palette is pretty pigmented. I already did another video also using this palette in a look. The video is, I think, uploaded right before this video, but I'll tag it for you all as well. Let's quickly talk about this one, Lunar Beauty. Again, I'm only looking at the palette, but I know this collection had a bunch of other things. Oh, I have seen this palette before. I've seen this palette before. Where have I seen this palette? Which is literally neutrals with a pop of lavender. I've seen this and I feel like I've seen this a long time ago, separate from the fact that I can totally dupe this palette and that this palette is like 99% neutrals. You all also have this. There's no way you don't have neutral palettes in your collection because that's literally 90% of what's sold out there. And just add a single lavender to your palettes. And let's talk about this, which is Makeup Beauty Shop. Coming out with six holograms. You can buy the bundle for 72 euros. Six holograms. Who needs holograms? I feel like I've beaten the, this horse to death, so nobody needs holochromes. Nobody needs holochromes, moving on. Let's talk about this one. Lorella Cosmetics has done a collab with Peanuts. Oh my goodness, this is cute. I talked about Lorella Cosmetics, I think, 
one time before I think they did a collab around Christmas that was also something sort of unique I think it was a gingerbread palette the makeup case is 60 bucks is it made of gold I mean the palette's cute but it does look like it has some redundant shades it says the lip scrub is twelve dollars. I don't know if it's each twelve dollars or the bundle is twelve dollars. I don't know if it comes in a bundle. It's cute, but the reason it's cute is because I love peanuts. Remove Snoopy and Woodstock, and I would just be like, okay, this is yet another item out there. And because of that, I'm gonna move on. Also, I don't really think it's a reasonable price for a brand I don't really know a lot about. Maybe it's an amazing brand. If you know, let us know below. But if you're a relatively unknown brand, you should be reasonable out there. What is this? We have Beauty Moon launching eight chrome cream shadows that can be used and worn as highlighters. You know, I was waiting for a brand to launch something like this. This is 13 US dollars, which I suppose is a fair price for these kinds of multichromes, but I have these. I probably have these not in a cream format, but in a powder format. And realistically, do I need? No, I don't. I don't. Definitely not now. Maybe down the road. Maybe I'll change my mind. But right now, I'm on a no-buy, not, not doing it. Let's talk about this one. NYX's Ultimate Party on Sunset 32 Pan Pro Palette. I think I saw this palette in Spain, in Primor, because I definitely saw in one of these large ultimate palettes that was more or less the same kind of color story as this one. So unless Nyx is duping itself, which could totally be the case, I've seen this palette. And it's gigantic, 32 shades in a palette and it's plastic packaging, which means it's very difficult to keep and make sure it doesn't break no no we're not doing this we're not doing this and you you're not gonna use half of these shades because it's a gigantic palette like that's just the name of the game with large palettes that are not magnetic etc you're not gonna use every single color that's in there moving on i'm now using e07 and going into this purple and i'm putting this on my lower lash line and you know what? I also want to use a little bit of this purple blue because this is one of those multichrome duochromies. I think it's a duochrome that looks blue from some angles, purple tealy from some other angle. And this is going over that lower lash line color. Let's continue with ColourPop's latest reveal. This is actually released. I think on Colourpop's website yesterday or a couple of days ago and it's coming to Ulta end of March and you know what we are in the cool toned everything zone nowadays right and believe it or not I'm here for this I saw this and I was like I could totally see myself use this because this is literally sort of a gray palette with a bunch of the colors in the palette having a hint or a dab of blue and you know what? I don't have those colors. So I could totally see myself down the road picking this palette up. Only that, is that a matte black? That better not be a matte black. I mean, in the swatches, it doesn't look like a matte black. It looks like a gray brownie type of color. And in the spirit of stepping out of comfort zones, because this is not a palette I would have purchased regularly because I actually don't really have any good idea whether these colors would look good on me. I'm just like, would these colors even look good on me? I don't know. And I would like to try that. It looks like Burt's Bees is doing some lip sleeping masks. Okay, I'm here for this. I do use Burt's Bees, although they are now purchased by some larger brand. One of these known conglomerates, a Estee Lauder company maybe, or Maybelline or one of those. I don't need anything for the lips. Because I still have these, y'all remember that I purchased these from Trader Joe's. I kind of broke my no buy. This is a lip mask. They might still have it. They released these for Valentine's Day. This is the berry lip mask. I like it. It's not as thick as I like lip masks to be because I have very, very dry lips. But something is better than nothing. 
Continuing, there was a whole lot of Sephora favorites from Sephora, and they usually launch these around their sale time. These packages are good if you are trying to sort of test different things to see if any of their brands work for you. I have used a lot of these in the past for identifying mascaras that I like, hair products that I like, lip products that I like, and so on. Or just to have some lip different, you know, test different lip products. You never have to even go back and buy any of these, even if you like them. And the packages are usually reasonably priced. And now I can't tell for nowadays because price of everything has gone up. And I think the last time I bought a Sephora Favorites is at least a few years ago. Makeup Eraser is collabing with Hello Kitty and Friends. I think I've told you all before. I have purchased a good number of makeup erasers and I've never used them. And every time I see a new ad I am re or a new collection coming out, I'm reminded that I should go back and use my old ones. So thanks Makeup Eraser for the reminder. Let's talk about this one. Black Moxie has released this palette. And to be honest, I think it's a nice palette. It, it looks nice. $58? No. No. What is going on? I feel like nowadays every brand is like, you know, $60 is it for us. No, I, I'm not paying that price. Who is paying that price? Moving on. Beauty's moving on. I think it, it's a nice color story. I can dupe it. Moving on. Somebody's collabing. Who is this? Spectrum Cosmetics is collabing with... Powerpuff Girls. I mean, Spectrum Cosmetics is collabing with everybody. I don't have a price, but it seems like you can buy the whole bundle or you can buy a bundle for each of the girls. Spectrum Cosmetics is always kind of overpriced for my budget, so I'm pretty sure this is also overpriced. So although I like Powerpuff Girls, passing. Also, I'm on a no-buy. Let's talk about this one also. Don't like the fact that it is sort of everything in one kind of a palette. This is from One Size in collab with Wicked. Okay, I, I was kind of not expecting that. This looks like something from Revolution Beauty. I totally thought this is from Revolution and uh, I'm kind of surprised. But to be honest with you, it's $50 for the eye and face and although it's not a large palette, I'm still surprised because seeing all these indie brands price their makeup to some ridiculous prices, I feel like Brands who are sold at Sephora now can totally justify selling things for $80. So glad to see not everybody's doing that. Okay, this is from Dandelions Co. And I don't know if that photo is just not a good photo. I think that's what it is. Or that it, the photo kind of looks like it's computer generated. It doesn't even look like an actual palette. Because they do have other photos online of just the pans, and in those photos, the pans look so much nicer. And in this photo, I'm like, when I saw this photo, I was like, I don't want this palette. But when I saw the singles, I was like, this is kind of nice. It's $50 for the palette, and it's releasing in April, so after my no-buy, but I don't need this. I probably can dupe this. I am watching out Dandelions, though. I've heard amazing things about their singles, and you all know my channel's moving more towards reviewing singles so totally makes sense to put this brand on the list of brands to try i'm gonna use lilacs pigment glue this brand i purchased from spain it's a spanish brand it's a sister brand to crash cosmetics which this palette that i'm using is from maybe you can buy these in the u.s i should figure it out for you all there is a possibility you can buy these online because their website is in English and just have them delivered to the US. I wouldn't be surprised if you can do that. Let's go into the orange as I mentioned. So this is one of those oranges that has a hue of gold to green and it's kind of translucent so we have to probably pack it on a little bit. I'm liking this and I'm going to make a complaint about this palette because this palette doesn't have any color that I could at the moment put in my inner corner. I suppose I could put the gold, but I feel like that gold is still too dark. Anyway, moving on. Let's see. Is there anything else? Yes, beauty, there is more nail polish beauties. Cleona is doing it again they have released some more stuff on the nail polish front and you all know i am totally 
unable to control myself when it comes to nail polish. We have this from Cleona, which is already available. This is the new addition to the stained glass collection. Maybe not super new because this launched a weekish ago. The colors in this quad are light fast myrrh. The eyeshadow version of this was released originally in their advent calendar. I have a swatch of that whole advent calendar eyeshadow. I'll link it below. But now they have it in the form of a nail polish. They have Patina Light and Statue Garden. I have a lot of swatch of Cleona and I think I have a swatch of all of these colors. Other than Patina Light, I have a regular Patina. You can buy the bundle for 40 ish dollars and each individually is going to be something between 11 to 12 dollars USDs. I really need to control myself when it comes to nail polish because I'm so, so in love with nail polish and all these colorful nail polishes and in fact I want to talk about another nail polish brand that I have not seen talked about a lot this is a brand called Cadillacer that released a new collection called interplanary collection and I saw some swatches of this collection online and oh my goodness I want these I, I so badly want these and um and I have a feeling it once my no buy is over I'm gonna pick this up because because I so badly want these first of all there's a few magnetic ones in this and I know this video should be about the makeup you all should not be buying so it's horrible for me to even say this I feel I feel guilty I feel guilty telling you all this but maybe you all can convince me not to buy this the two magnetic nail lacquers in this collection are just so insane one of them that is called reliant super giant i don't have anything like this in eyeshadow and nail polish in anything and when i saw that i was like girl 16 dollars for a single nail polish shade which is why i was like maybe it makes more sense to get the bundle and the bundle is also five percent off on what's up beauty maybe i can convince myself out of this but this this collection totally captured my heart they also have uh, cold and heat activated nail polishes one of them that i saw in this collection is many moons that goes light like deep sea blue to black i don't even own thermal nail polishes so i'm just i'm in love i'm in love one of you all needs to talk me out of this, please. Let's continue with this makeup stuff because there is this one from P Profusion, the 35 shadow palette that looks like it has 200 redundant shades in it. Who needs this and who needs this? This is so light toned. Yeah. Profusion, what is going on? I kind of was rooting for you, but thanks for releasing something I don't want to buy moving on and while we are on the nail polish streak let me also talk about this one which also kind of captured my heart this collection from moon cat i believe it's already available twice upon a fairy tale and the color in this collection that totally caught me is that mermaid color i think it's called mermaid bait I don't know if it's the photo or that color really looks like that because I have seen different photos so I should watch some swatch videos and talk myself out of this because I might even have something that's like this in my Cleona collection this kind of looks like some of the Cleonas that I have but it's it's so pretty it's so pretty and to kind of forget that this existed let's also talk about another collection that I kind of don't really care for which is this one from Holo Taco. It's cute, but I could totally pass. The only color that I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of cute, is the one that adds the cow print to your nails. Other than that, the other solid colors, I probably already have a dupe for. Okay, beauties, to complete the look, I put a little bit of Laguna Beach from Ofra on my lips. Let's talk about this last one. This one. This is Sham by Estee's Arabian Fantasy Collection. I don't have a release date, but it's coming soon. 
It has six shifty, I'm supposing, multi-chromey shadows. Some people have done um, swatches of this online, so swatch videos should already be available on Instagram, maybe even on YouTube. These sort of colors historically are pretty expensive from Shambaisi. They could go anything up to even 20-ish dollars. So if I'm purchasing anything from Shine by Sea or if I have any desire to purchase anything from Shine by Sea, I usually make a list and then I do the purchases when they have a good sale. Now, sometimes things are limited edition and you might miss out if you don't pick them up. But frankly, I have little desire to pick anything limited edition up. If I can't buy it in a sale, I'm not picking it up. Also, realistically, I just received my Shine by SD orders not that long ago. The order that I put before Christmas during Black Friday sales. So I need to play with those before I buy anything. That's what I need to do. So passing, but they're pretty to look at. You know, I've gotten to a point where I appreciate looking at things. I don't need to own everything. And with that said, let's go with the rest of the other video. Okay, beauties, this is the completed look. I put all the products that I used in the description box below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also watched it this far. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I do these kinds of videos almost on the weekly and I have a playlist for it that's showing up on the screen now. I hope you're having an amazing day and until next time, bye.